and I'm here to tell you the whys and wherefores of tympanoplasty. Let's begin with what it is. What is tympanoplasty? Tympanoplasty is the surgical procedure to repair the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. So who needs one? Anybody with a ruptured or a perforated tympanic membrane or a hole in the eardrum needs tympanoplasty. So how do you even know if you have a hole in the eardrum? Ear discharge or pus coming from the ear is usually a sign of a hole in the eardrum. Hole in the eardrum also causes a person to hear less. So when someone comes in with these complaints, we usually take a look into the ear using a microscope or an endoscope and we can actually visualize, we can see the hole. This is how we know we diagnose a hole in the ear. So why tympanoplasty? Why should it be done? The eardrum is a very important part of our hearing mechanism. It is a thin membrane at the deep end of the ear and usually sound waves bounce off it and uh, cause it to vibrate. That is how we hear. So when there is a hole in the eardrum, the sound waves do not pass and we don't hear well. So tympanoplasty involves repairing of this hole using graft material. That is why it has to be done. So which brings us to how is tympanoplasty done? Tympanoplasty involves repairing the hole in the eardrum as I said. So first the eardrum has to be lifted out of its socket and graft material usually taken from the patient's own body from right behind the ear is used to patch this hole and packing material is used to hold this graft material in place. At the same time the bones, small bones that help us here are also examined and if found defective they are repaired. There are two methods to get to the tympanic membrane to do this procedure. The first one involves making a cut, a small cut behind the ear and this method requires the use of a microscope. The other method involves going through the ear canal and this method requires the use of an endoscope. Both methods require microscopes and endoscopes because the ear is a very small organ and these scopes give bigger picture so that this is a surgery that requires great precision. Both methods have their own advantages. Our center, we carefully analyze all patient factors to pick the method that is best suited for every patient. Are there any complications for tympanoplasty? Yes, the known complications of tympanoplasty are infection, bleeding, giddiness, uh, decreased hearing. And at our center, we take the utmost precaution to avoid every one of these. I know the first question that comes up here is, is this all painful? No, it is not. This procedure is done under anesthesia, so there is no pain involved. A patient who undergoes tympanoplasty is usually back on their feet within a day. So we usually discharge a patient who's undergone tympanoplasty after an overnight stay. We send the patient home with a bandage over the ear and some medicines to take. The patient is expected to come back for one or two weekly visits, followed by one or two monthly follow-ups. How do you prepare for tympanoplasty? Make sure you're uh, fasting for about uh, six hours before your scheduled surgery time. Make sure you arrive on time to the hospital with all your reports your CT scans, your audiograms, your blood reports, everything. And uh, give yourself a good hair wash before surgery because obviously when the ear bandage is there, you won't be able to wash your hair. And above all, don't worry. 